So those are really great thoughts, and some of you really nailed it. But in the food industry, in the restaurant industry, there are three things that we like to remind you of, and we'd like you to write them down on the notepad we've put in front of you because we hope you're going to take notes throughout this just to reinforce what you're learning today so that you remember it every day on the job and what you're representing and what you're presenting for our business and for yourself. The first thing is the sanitation of food. Americans across the world, really, expect that a restaurant is clean and safe and that there are no illnesses that are found around in a restaurant. So we are always going to be looking for how clean counters are, how clean cutting boards are, how clean floors are. And Americans notice when a place is clean and not, as well as the tables in which we might enjoy having people sit down and participate in a restaurant upon. The next thing that they're going to be concerned with is food safety. And food safety is the proper temperatures of food and how long the food is actually held in terms of being good. In the olden days before we had this type of kind of make to order concept in the restaurant and fast food industry, we actually would have food prepared and there would be little metal numbers that were like a little teepee that would set up in front of that food to say that the food was just made but the implication on that number was relating to the time clock or the actual hour clock on the wall that would say 25, which means that that food would be expired at 25 after the hour and whatnot. So safety of food, cleanliness of food, and how you handle the food is important to people. You're supposed to be wearing gloves right now. You're also supposed to never be chewing gum while you're preparing food because when we chew gum, when we eat something, what happens is spit comes out of our mouth and then we've just totally taken away the safety and sanitation of that food. Does that make sense as an example to you? That you really don't want someone else's spit on your food. Now, the third part is a little bit different. It's a little bit more about ethics, a little bit more about the spirit and the soul of serving food, but it's the sanctity of food. One of the most fundamental basic human rights across the world and absolute needs in terms of Maslow's hierarchy of human needs is food. Every human body has to eat food to survive and thrive. And every human being, every human body needs to have some sort of water-based product in order to live healthily in the world. So the sanctity of food is presenting our food in the best appealing way, which means we're careful how we put things in a bag to go out in external deliveries and pickups and we're very thoughtful and careful of how we put food on a tray. And we really try not to slop it on there. We really try to place it on there carefully while people and customers are watching us. Whether it's a customer waiting right there for that particular order or the customers in line waiting to order, it impacts the business. Because if they see us sloughing off, if they see us goofing off, if they hear us spouting off, they may simply walk out of the business. And what that means for you in terms of the relationship to you and your job is you could end up losing your job for misbehavior, possibly, but more importantly to the long term and longevity of your income stream for your personal goals and family is that the business could have a downturn and close. 